so welcome to the episode i have some questions um, posted by some of my audience so today i'm going to discuss those questions regarding the automation so one of the questions was that how we can get a straight table within an email so that's not very straightforward but i have come up with the methodology and i will show you that show you that today the second question was how to get the headers within a google sheet um, when we get the data it's not is that straightforward as well so i'm going to go over both of these problems and their solutions uh, so let's get started uh, this is my a new automation sheet so let's just call it email and sheet okay so here I am I'll just connect with the click service and let's first oh sorry uh, let's connect with Google sheet first and here I am going to clear the sheet first so I already have a Google Sheet sorted. So this is my sales sheet. And then I once I clear the sheet, I'm going. So the question was that when you get the data from the state table, it do not get the titles. So yes, that's a problem. Um, at the moment, there's no very straightforward solution for that. Uh, but there are a couple of solutions through which you can go um, get away with that. One is that you know you can add a manual append sheet. I just append a row within that sheet and this is again the same sheet ID that I have used. There you go. And you can write those values manually. Or you can get that there is a option for expression evaluation sorry uh, that's in click cloud connected so we have this expression value so you can get that uh, but no yours it's not that optimized getting auto at this difficult at the time uh, you can get through variables uh, but at the time i'm you know getting it as a hard coded value because in most of the cases when you have the object you know what is the exact object there so what item one means what item two means so i think at the moment we can say that it's straightforward so in my case it's product category so here you go and then it's a sales amount okay and then then it's easy i go to the I get I read the straight table it automatically get the loop <clears throat> it goes sheet ID my new sheet ID and my object is sales by category so here is it and it there's no my values it's going to loop my values okay before i go there there was another question that they need to get selections so click has just given an option within my application to get these values run through a button but again and at them when you are running through the button it gives you an option to use the current selection but for some reason it's not working so another way to do that is to use the bookmark so and for the time being what i have done is i have created a bookmark so you can create a bookmark for the filters that you want to do so in this case i have a bookmark 
and the bookmark is BM01. Okay, so now I apply the bookmark, which essentially apply the selection. So what you can do is you can replace this bookmark or recreate this bookmark with the value that exactly what you want to have. And in that way, it can work uh, before you run this particular report uh, within click or you can run it over the bookmark. So if I test run it, so it's going to get me my bookmark value. It's a success. Uh, please make sure that's a success uh, in the history because there is if this bookmark is not published, it will not give you a success. It will give you a, a queue success with default. So you need to be wary of that. So your selection might not work as you supposed to work and it might not give you an error. So be careful about this output. Please make sure you check this out. Okay. So the next thing is I'm going to write this particular thing in a Oh, so it's going to be in the Google Sheet. So I'm going to go there and append one row. So I'm putting this block and in the sheet, it's going to be to be click auto. It's going to be my sales sheet in my cell one. I'm going to get the value from the straight table. It's going to be the sale wrap. And the second one is going to be my, uh, it's not going to be, I need to run it, test run it so that I can get the history. Once I get the history, I will be able to get the exact values. So, you know, I'm getting that from the history. Uh, I don't need the item. I need <coughs> category and I need sales amount. Okay. So here is it. I will just run it 